I've had many people asking me, Koketo, how did you get 90s for mathematics in matric? If you've been wondering, this is the video for you because I'm about to share how I got 90s for mathematics in my matric finals and in matric in itself. So just keep on watching. The first thing that I did was I always kept in my mind, Uguti, I must not sleep on easy topics. The mistake that most of you make is you look at topics like sequence and series. You look at topics like probability. You feel like this topic is too easy. I just like, I can't give it so much of my time, you know? I mean, I understand if it was something like analytical geometry because at times it's quite simple, but still, you shouldn't sleep on these easy questions because those marks that you would be getting from sequence and series or from number patterns as most of you all know it as they can determine whether you pass or fail they can determine whether you get a distinction or not they can determine whether you get an 80 or a 90 so don't sleep on all those questions just make sure that you master every single thing don't be too focused on mastering mathematical modeling don't be too focused on mastering healing geometry that you end up neglecting these small marks because at the end of the day, it will come back to haunt you. And I promise you, just make sure to not sleep on those particularly easy topics. The next thing that I did was to make sure that I always engage with my teachers, both in and out of class. By the time of recording this video and releasing it, it will probably be prelims or they'll just be a bit weeks nyana from starting. So this is what I want you to do. You engage with your teachers. If you are still in class and asking questions, raise your hand. Ask questions. Like, literally, just raise your hand whenever you don't understand anything. Engage. Boza, dude, how did you get this number? Akjele, don't be afraid to ask questions because this is your future. If you care about what people say, you will suffer in silence. You need to focus on yourself. This is, like, this is the time now where you need to focus on yourself and ask a question. Whether you feel like a question is stupid or not, there is no stupid question, but there is a stupid answer. So just make sure you ask questions, ask questions. And if now, let's say your teaching time, teaching period is over and you can't necessarily go and ask your teacher for any advice, uh, like to, to, to like in class, ask questions, then the best thing you can do is, I don't know, if you have your teacher's number, then message them. If you can't, then just find a way to talk to other people, just ask questions because there is nothing that is to me worse than having a question and then we are told and you keep quiet with it and the worst thing that can happen is that that question avails itself in a test or an exam and then you have regrets so just ask questions the next big thing another thing that i would always do was to attend extra lessons you need to attend extra lessons you could never know enough matric taught me that you could never know enough i'll tell you what you think, okay, sure, I'm well out of the way of getting 100%. I'm going to get a distinction. I'm smart. I'm the smartest in my school. Listen, attend extra classes. There's this one question that you've not done before, that you haven't seen before. There's this variety of variation of questions that you haven't seen before. And going to an extra class might open your mind to it. You should attend extra classes because you will not regret it. Unless if your extra classes that you attend are just not effective. But extra classes like the ones that I attended, were absolutely effective i can tell you so just make sure to attend extra classes whether you're smart or not attend extra classes whether you go to a nearby school whether you go to extra classes that are paid for just attend some form of extra classes and you will thank me later you'll thank me later next thing that you'd want to do is to find tutoring solely on the basis that you can afford it because one thing about having a tutor, especially if it's a personal tutor, is that they focus solely on your own weaknesses and strengths. Um, as opposed to in a class setting where we are all there, we are all there to learn, they will teach a topic. They won't because in that topic, I struggle with this thing. They won't now stop the whole class just to teach me that thing while the class is there. But having a tutor, you can ask them a question, you can engage. If you can afford it, if you have the financial capability, 
find yourself a tutor and just find a good, a good person to tutor you and you will not regret it, I promise you. You will see a bit of improvement and at the end of the day, it will all be worth it. Just find a tutor. But the next thing that I made sure that I always do was to outsource my resources like to other schools. I had a friend, I still have him, but he's a brother now, but it's fine. I had a friend who was from some school nearby where I was and then uh, I used to study with another girl who was from a school that is nearby. It was sort of in the same region. The main idea here is that I study with people from other schools and this helps us combine our material. So if you come from Dog McStuffins High, then you come, you <laughs> you bring your past paper from there and then I come from Peter's What What High and I bring my test paper. Surely we did not write the same test paper and we can just compare, you know, I bring in my paper, you bring in yours, intertwine them. Then surely I'll learn something. Like I haven't seen that type of question set up. If you compile resources with other people, especially from other schools, it actually helps because at the end of the year, we will all be writing the exact same question paper. And for your prelims, as a province, Gauteng, KwaZulu-Natal, Eastern Cape, you'll be writing the exact same question paper. So it doesn't matter for the, I study the things from my school. At the end of the day, we'll all be writing the exam that is the same. So that is why I'd always outsource and talk to people that are like close to me that are in other schools doing the same thing just to get their resources and then exploit them, essentially. And again, being in the CAPS curriculum doesn't really limit you to doing only CAPS past papers. Like, what my friend and I used to do as well during our matric years is we would do IEP question papers, we did CAPS, but we would do IEP question papers just here and there, you know, to outsource again and see what other people are doing. And this, like, this thing of doing past papers from different places, different provinces, it really helps. Because I was in Gauteng, I did a past paper from the Eastern Cape, I did a past paper from KwaZulu Natal, I did a past paper from Nipopo. And when I went on to write my prelim, one of the questions was sort of like a twist of some question that was in the past paper at the Western Cape three years ago, that type of a thing, you know? So if you, if realistically you would do many past papers from every province or everywhere that you can get surely like you can predict the whole question paper so just outsource and exploit your resources carefully which directly links to my next point which is to do past papers doing past papers allows you to be accustomed to the style of asking questions doing past papers really gets you used to like okay this is how my question starts, this is how my question paper starts. For someone who didn't do a whole question paper of mathematics in their life before, like you've never done a question, a past question paper, get to an exam, grr, question one, that's your algebra. Question two, sequences. Question three, sequences. Question four, functions. Question five, functions. You'll be like, ah, oh, my functions are manga. Like, you're not used to that whole setup, but if you are already like accustomed, like you've already told yourself, okay, sure, I know. My question 10, I don't even, I haven't forgot, I only remember the physics ones. But let's say question 6 was financial maths, I hope it was, or 8. You know now, I just page over to question 8, and then financial maths, I'm in. Yeah, Like, that thing of really knowing the structure of the question paper also allows you subconsciously not be surprised by the setup, but maybe by a question inside there. So do as many past papers as you can, do as many past papers as you can. Don't get burnt out, don't get exhausted, just do as many past papers as you can and you will get used to the style of asking, the style that they want the answers to be because the memos show you that this one mark is for this, this one mark is for this. So you will cut out the, the clutter of, okay, I'm, I'm always writing a whole page of calculations but only want this. It's fine. You know that they want this, this and that. So just make sure that the next time these ones are there, even if you miss those other ones that are necessary, the ones that you know they're going to mark. Make sure that they're there. Just make sure, make sure. And that's how you're going to win in general. And now the next big thing that you need to always keep in mind when it comes to mathematics, physics, and every other course is that you need to practice daily. You need to practice every single day, like every single day. Every... I'm not saying do 900 question papers every day. Uh -uh. Even if... Like, if you have a lot to do, you can literally do, like, I don't know, question one to five of maths today. Tomorrow you do question seven, yeah, because why not? Like, 
just practice every single day. You, you, you can never have enough mathematics, can never have enough physics. For me, I loved physics with my entire life. So, like, I, 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 I'd be doing some serious past papers. But the point I'm trying to make is that you should practice every single day. Be consistent. Your teachers tell you, your friends tell you, your, I don't know who else, your uncles tell you. You should practice every day. You should study. You always, like, I'm pretty sure you tell your parents, ah, mama, yeah, I'm fun every day. Listen, practice every day, study every day, because matrix marks matter. Those matrix marks determine not only your future, but how your future is like going to come. Like, not the future itself, but the way that it will, it will go. Because the last thing you want is to have to be having regrets. I promise you, the last thing that you want is to be having regrets, because the pill and the pain of regret. Is tougher to swallow than the pill of discipline discipline is just now like it, it's just now it's 15 minutes of pain but then the regret this thing will last with you for a whole entire lifetime knowing that you're doing a job that you don't want because you couldn't get the marks that will really put you into the place of the spot that you want and that's the last thing that we want that is the very last thing that we want so it's always keep in your head hurry metric marks matter take it seriously take your metric mark seriously take them seriously please please and so now that is the end of the video you've reached the end of the video if you're watching the video up to this point i thank you thank you for sticking with me stick with me i'll make you famous but yeah so yeah that's the end of the video so basically that's how i managed to get 90s in matric and how i kept the consistency with mathematics all my other subjects so if you like this video don't forget to like it comment what you want to see in another video or comment how this video helped you just say something and just share this video share with your friends share in a group share with your grandmother toes just have fun with it but the point I'm trying to make here is this video was for you and I hope that you really will pick some tips from it and good luck with your metric exams. Good luck. I want you all to come back with testimonies of, dude, I watched your video, I came back. Whenever I see these things, they really make me want to keep going. So just keep them coming. But besides that, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.